Hi there. My name is Ben Toland, and I'm one of the lecturers and course coordinators on our computer engineering degree course here in the Blanchardstown campus of TU Dublin. And I've been asked to put together this little video for you to try give you an idea of what computer engineering is actually all about and why you might want to come and study it in our Blanchardstown campus. So computer engineering is really a mix of two courses. One is a traditional electronics course where you're very much designing components and hardware. And the other is a computing course where you're very much writing computer software to run on desktop computers. And the difference here is you'll be writing software to run on the hardware and devices that you might be designing in your electronic side of things. We have graduates working in all sorts of companies uh, around the world and locally as well, close to us here in Blanchardstown, uh, very much in the engineering field. But because engineering in general is quite flexible, and particularly our program is very flexible with a mix of hardware and software, we have uh, graduates working uh, in all sorts of other fields other than just engineering as well. So when you're applying for, or if you're applying for, a computer engineering degree course here in uh, Blanchardstown, you'll see two courses listed in the prospectus. One is just called computer engineering and the other is called computer engineering and mobile systems. Really, it's the same course. It's a four year long program. And in the final year, we do specialize a bit more on the mobile technology side of things. So really, the first three years are, co are common and then the final year, you do specialize a little more. And you can transfer easily from one course to the other if you so require. So what is this computer engineering thing again? I said it's a mix of hardware and software, but really I think the best idea is to give you um, a picture of some of the things that you might be doing on the course. So for example, this is a student project. This is a drone, and you can see here, there's all sorts of electronics. You've got motors, you've got sensors for measuring the distance from objects and the height. Uh, you've got a thing called an accelerometer and a gyroscope, which helps the drone figure out if it's stable. And controlling all of that, there's actually a hidden little computer in there as well. And that, on that is running software, and that's managing everything, including communicating back to your mobile phone, which is flying this thing in the first place. On the course, you will be building little robots like this. We use them to help teach some of the concepts. And here we have some secondary school students that we invite in every year to give them a taste of this type of thing. But you too would be building and programming these little robots, building them from scratch, all the electronics, all the software, and really getting a really deep feel for how these things work. When I'm trying to sell computer engineering, I always use space technology as my sort of fallback of a very cool thing that you might end up uh, working in as a computer engineer. Um, computer engineers are not rocket scientists. We are very good at what we do, but that's not the type of engineering we do. We're not into designing and building engines, but what we are into is uh, the electronics and the software that control those engines and keep everything running and make the whole system work. So here we have the Falcon 9 uh, SpaceX booster rockets returning back down, and they are actually just giant robots. So you start with simple little robots, but here these things are just giant robots flying back to Earth. Very sophisticated giant robots, but giant robots nonetheless. Other areas where computer engineers work are in very much in the area of commercial electronics. So whether that be your smart television with all its features, who writes the software that's behind all this, who designs all the electronics and, and puts it all together behind, it's computer engineers. We're all becoming much more familiar with the idea of smart home technology, whether that be your fridge that you can view from remotely from your mobile phone and see what's in it, um, to other, all the other devices around uh, our houses that are getting smarter and smarter. Again, who are the engineers that are putting together the devices and the software behind all this? Again, soft, uh, our computer engineers are doing that. You may be wearing a smart device right now at this moment, whether it's a fitness tracker or a smart watch. And uh, inside that, there are all sorts of sensors for measuring steps and heart rate and it's got displays, and then it's communicating using Bluetooth low energy back to your phone. Again, very much the sort of area that computer engineers would be involved in. You might have had the misfortune of dropping your mobile phone or your tablet at some stage on the floor and seeing a slightly messier picture of this. 
where all the bits scatter across. Again, that all that mobile technology, uh, we've got hardware and software in behind this. And again, it's an area that we would work in. To watch this video, you're probably connected to Wi-Fi, whether you're on your laptop or your home computer or on a phone. And sitting in the corner of your house somewhere is your Wi-Fi router. And again, there is hardware and software in, hidden inside that. And it is actually its own little hidden computer. And again, it's computer engineers that would be involved in that type of work. And there are other devices like printers and things around your home that would be similar. The industrial world of manufacturing is somewhere else where computer engineers would find work. Well, not primarily the area that we'd be targeting, unlike our mechatronic uh, colleagues. It is certainly somewhere where some of our past graduates have ended up working. Another area that computer engineers would be involved in is in the area of smart vehicles and self-driving vehicles. We're becoming more familiar with this idea through the likes of Tesla. And we're also starting to see that a lot more of these devices, whether they be smart vehicles or whether it be your smart home or whatever, are getting all interconnected in together into something we're calling the Internet of Things, which is something that we focus on as well. So bringing together all these smart devices, whether it be from the worlds of uh, automotive, from the home, from medical technology to farming technology, linking it all together through the Internet. On medical technology, again, it's another very large area where computer engineers would be working. So things like pacemakers or all the various machines that you see in medical uh, arenas, these are all things that require uh, software and electronics to control. Artificial intelligence is another area that's starting to become very important in computer engineering as well, as all these devices that we are developing are starting to get smarter and smarter. So what does a computer engineer do again? Well, really, computer engineering puts the smart into all these smart devices, whether that be in the electronics or in the software or both. This is an example of some of the topics and technologies you'd be studying if you were to come and do computer engineering here in TU Dublin Blanchardstown. The course is quite broad, being a mix of uh, hardware, electronic design and software technology, and so there's quite a large number of topics that you'd be looking at. You'd start off in the early years learning your basic electronics and your basic software development, but as you progress up through the years, you'd be working on more and more sophisticated technologies and projects until eventually when you come out the end, Hopefully, you'd be well set up for an engineering job in one of the many companies that our graduates have already moved on into. So hopefully, that gives you a bit of a feel for what computer engineering is here at TU Dublin Blanchardstown. And if you have any other further questions, please don't hesitate to get in contact. Thank you very much.